Now this illustration deals with the grounding electrode system in accordance with 250.50 and NEC 250.52A1 through A7. Now notice 250.52A1 through A7 lists the electrodes that you see in the illustration. Number one listed there would be a concrete encased electrode. And notice it could be a number four conductor uh, grounding the service equipment uh, grounded bar into the structural steel, which is a half inch uh, in diameter, at least 20 foot, or bonded, uh, spliced together to give you 20 foot, or it might completely encircle the foundation. But we're dealing in 250.52A3, a concrete encased electrode that the old timers called the Eufer ground. Now we'll look at the next uh, uh, two there would be the structural steel. And uh, if we had, say, a 600 kc mill terminating to that main in the panel board, then based upon 600 kc mill, and those conductors do not have an overcurrent device ahead of them, so their supply, we would go to table 250.102C1 uh, to size the grounding conductor, but we'd go to table 250.66, uh, and based upon 600 kc mill, that'd be a one alt that you see. And naturally, uh, 250.52A2 deals with the structural steel and 10 foot or more of it is in the earth that'd be considered uh, a uh, uh, an electrode the structural steel would and it could just be in uh, compact dirt or it could be concrete around it uh, either one but by the code now now going over three is just a driven rod and notice now we look at 250.52A5 and A7. And it only had to be number 6 by 250.66A of the code. Now, moving uh, over uh, to the next uh, electrode would be number 4 would be a water pipe. And if 10 feet or more of it is in the earth, then we would bond and ground uh, to it within uh, five foot where it enters into the building. But it would be one alt also by table 250.66 based upon the 600 kc mill terminating to the main and the panel board. But notice 250.52A1 classifies it uh, as an electrode. And to be uh, considered an electrode, 10 feet or more of it has to be in the earth. So notice where uh, we have uh, in 250.52A1 through A7 what qualifies a certain type of electrode to be considered an electrode. Uh, we get that information in 210.52. Now notice the uh, number five could be uh, a ground ring encircling the building. And it could be a number two routed to it if it was number two. So, so we know we get that in 250.52A4 uh, for that, but we're, uh, we read about it in 250.66C. So now uh, as you uh, review this information, then you notice this illustration talks about a grounding electrode system in accordance with 250.50, meaning what? You have two or more electrodes and you have to bond them and connect them together to be considered an electrode. Now notice one alt is the largest required by table 250.66 uh, based upon the 600 kc mill uh, terminating to the main in a panel board. So I could take a number one and just, loop, uh, excuse me, a one alt and loop it right through there and connect all of them together by, and use it as a bonding conductor. And the code says you use the largest one and bond it in. Or I could take, say, a one alt to the water pipe 
a one-off from the water pipe to the steel. Uh, then I could use a uh, number two over to the ring, and from the ring, number four to the concrete encased electrode, and from the concrete encased electrode, a number six to the driven rod. Uh, but that is a, a, a systematic order you're using there, so you're dead ending the uh, electrode based upon what is required. But if you just want to loop them together random, just use a one off and, and you can just uh, start and uh, uh, connect them all together. See, uh, and you wouldn't, uh, in other words, I could, I could go from uh, the water pipe to the rod with one off as long as I could have a termination means to terminate it, see? So all that comes into play. You'd say, well, I'm going to eliminate the rod because I don't even need it. Okay, do that, and now you don't have to worry about having to terminate an, a one alt to that driven rod and buy fittings that would provide it or CAD weld it or whatever the authority having jurisdiction would consider acceptable uh, for, for making that type of connection. So uh, this figure 16-64A is uh, simply uh, illustrating that you would have to bond all your electrodes in where there's two or more according to 250.50. Now in the uh, final analysis of this illustration, the note says if grounding electrodes one through seven are available, they shall be bonded together to form a grounding electrode system in accordance with 250.50. And then the uh, figure loop says, if you want a little bit more additional information on this, see figure 16-53. Now, with uh, that information uh, available to us, uh, we're ready to move on to the next illustration.